down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And today, let's check out the South Park episode, The Death Camp of Tolerance. Let's do this. You wanted to see me, Principal Victoria? Yes, Mr. Garrison, have a seat. Some time ago, you asked to be promoted from teaching kindergarten back to the third grade. I'm aware okay. of that. But back then, some of us were uncomfortable with your sexual preferences. It was wrong of us, and I want to make it up to you. Mm. Wow, that's really great to hear. As you know, the position of fourth grade teacher has become available, and we'd like to offer you the job. Oh, for real? You're not kidding? We in administration see now that you are an individual with your own preferences, and we respect that. Oh, this is all just... It's a dream come true. Thank you, Principal Victoria. I'll do a great job. You're sure this is for real? I mean, I'm not going to just get fired again for being gay tomorrow. It's for real, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> With all the new laws, we could never fire you for being gay. Now you'd be able to sue us for millions of dollars. Right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Should have well, told him that. What was that? How much money, exactly? <laughs> oh, well, there was the case out of Minnesota where the guy was awarded $25 million, I think. Get that you, bag. You know, <laughs> Holy moly. I've got to find a way to get fired for being gay. Okay, kids, I know the past few weeks have been really hard with the death of your teacher, Miss Choke's own dick. <laughs> and they laughed about it. Give your best behavior to your new fourth grade teacher, Mr. Garrison. Thank you, Mr. Maggie. Where's Mr. Hat, sir? Well, I was informed that fourth graders are a little too old for Mr. Hat. You go to hell! You go to hell and you die! Two-year-olds are too old for Mr. Hat. But it's okay because I found a new teacher's assistant. Say hello to Mr. Slave. Hi, kids. Hmm. Uh -huh. First appearance so that's of Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave. Dad? This room's taken. Oh, uh, pardon me, sirs. The teacher's assistant. Or as I like to write for short, the teacher's ass. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, Mr. Slave, go sit until I need <laughs> Jesus you. Jesus Christ. Oh! Dude, I think that Mr. Slave guy might be a Pakistani. I'm not saying the rest of the school year is going to be what? easy. In fact, it's going to be long and hard. Really long and really hard. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, Kenny. What are you doing, Kenny? Now, Stalin was a big silly when it came Kenny, to... Kenny, no! Don't do it, Kenny! Eric, did you just throw a paper airplane? No, it was Kenny! Very funny, Eric. Kenny's dead. Yeah, but Cartman drank Kenny's remains and now Kenny's soul is trapped in Cartman's body. Yeah! yeah. That does what? it. I will not put up with what foolishness in my class. It's time for punishment. Take it, Mr. Slave. Oh, oh, oh it hurts. I will not oh. put up with tomfoolery oh. in my classroom, oh. children. Mr. Slave, put this rubber ball in your mouth. Take that, what? Slave. You take in it. In the Marcellus oh, Wallace. Oh. Well, I think in the fourth chapter, when uh, Nancy Drew discovers the bloody glove in the cheerleader's locker, well, that was, that was just Drew. a brilliantly written passage. We got our new teacher today. It's it's Mr. Garrison, our old third grade teacher. Uh huh. Well, he has this new teacher's assistant, and, and they're both totally gay. Kyle, you know better than to discriminate against homosexuals. Yeah, but these guys are really super gay. We're not raising our kids to be discriminators. That's right. I think it's time you kids took a little trip to the Museum of Tolerance. Here we try to educate you on the dynamics of racism and prejudice in America. Ah. Can't you see I'm unhappy right now? Man! Let's begin our tour with a walk through our tunnel of prejudice to show you tunnel what it can prejudice. feel like to be discriminated against. Quit. Shit. He. Now you know how it feels. I want to ride again. I want to ride again. We are now entering the Hall of Stereotypes. These wax figures represent how some intolerant people have labeled minorities. Here we see oh a black person eating God. chicken and watermelon, a stereotype that hurts the African-American community. Let me tell you something. If you don't like chicken or watermelon, something's wrong with you, motherfucker. There's something wrong with you. The Arab is a terrorist. That's right, but of course we know that not all Arabs are terrorists, don't we, kids? Durka Durka. Well, there's an Asian man with a calculator. Not all oh, stereotypes goodness. are negative, but and even a positive tea. one like all Asians are good at math is harmful to society. Look, a covetous Jew! Very good, <laughs> young man. The idea that Jews are only interested in money is very old indeed. It's the stereotypical sleepy Mexican. What, what? Oh, man, what time is it? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were a wax sculpture. No, man, I'm the janitor. I'm supposed to be cleaning, but I'm so tired. It's messed up. 
you must also learn to respect people who are small, people who are disabled, even people who are overweight like this young man here. Aye. You other boys have probably called this young man names like Tubby or Lard Butt or Fat Tits. Fat Tits, that's a good one. Yeah, I have to remember that. If he chooses to eat fatty foods, that's his life choice. I'm not fat. I have a different life choice. I call it healthism, a kind of okay. moral obligation for people to be healthy. It's simple. It's your body and you decide what's best to do with it. And we won't belittle you for eating lots of cookies and cakes and pies. Dude, tolerance kicks ass! <laughs> <laughs> That's our Cartman. <laughs> That's our silly grandpa. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I was just, uh... There's no smoking in the museum! But I'm not in the museum. Get out of here, you filthy smoker! Yeah, dirty lungs! Go ahead and kick yourself, stupid tar breath! Dumbass! Get out of here! <laughs> What? Well, have a great day, everybody. It does kind of feel like it can never be 100% complete tolerance. The buck always gets passed to somebody. That's what I like about South Park. Their jokes are intolerant of everybody across the board. Evaporation is an exothermic reaction, so let's look at an endothermic one. Mr. Slave, position seven, please. I'm gonna put the glass tube under Mr. Slave's tight ass. Conductor of energy. Oh, goodness. Would you bring over Lemmy Winks for me, please? Sure. Don't do this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> For every action, there is a reaction. What do you think is going to happen when I introduce the element of the gerbil to the endothermic heat of Mr. Slave's ass? No. Oh, oh hey, there's another one in there. Oh, oh. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Let me wings? No. Hello there, children. Hey, Chef. How's it going? Bad. Why bad? Chef, we're intolerant. Intolerant of who? Gays, I guess. The reason people get uncomfortable around gay people is that they have some issues themselves. You have to ask yourself, what is it about their behavior that for some reason makes me uncomfortable? Well, I guess okay. it's mostly the way Mr. Garrison stuck a gerbil at Mr. Slave's ass. Right. And you see, children, that's why you need to... Whoa! What? Are we homophobes <laughs> now? We don't want to be gay bashers, Chef. You children just take your lunches. I'm gonna have a talk with the principal. I'll take three lunches today, please. You don't need three lunches, Eric. You're fat enough as it is. It is my life choice, Chef, and if you don't tolerate it, I'll report you to the SEC. Show's ahead of its time. Lovely Winks, you must find your way out of this place or you will surely die. Make for the large intestine. All will be made clear then. A great adventure is waiting for you ahead. The greatest adventure is there if you're born. Hurry onward, Lemmy Winks, or you will soon be dead. But you must escape the gay man's ass so your tail can be told. Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks. What is happening? <laughs> oh no, you're firing me? Oh well, I can't stop being who I am. I can't help the way God made me. Guess I just have to go. No, 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 we're not firing you. You're not? No, we're sending Chef to a tolerance seminar. Sending chef to a tolerance seminar? You got to be uh. fucking crazy. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of companies doing diversity and inclusion training for their employees. I believe you used the words sick queer to describe his conduct in class. He is a sick queer. Yeah. I just wanted to give you an opportunity to apologize to Mr. Garrison before I sent you away, chef. Kiss my black ass. <laughs> Parents, I had to call you in here because your boys have refused to attend class with their homosexual teachers. I really thought you boys learned something in the Museum of Tolerance, but apparently all you learned was new words to call your poor teachers. But they killed Lemmy Winks! Shut your mouth, butters! You'll speak when spoken to! Yes, sir. Mr. Maggie, oh. we've done everything we can. We don't know where else to turn. Well, there is an intensive seminar camp. It's a bit severe, but it might be the only way. That sounds go. good to me. Me too. Then it's settled. Boys, you're going to Tolerance Camp. Welcome to Tolerance Camp. You are here because you would not accept the life choices of your fellow man. Here you will work every hour of every day until you submit to being tolerant of everybody. Here, intolerance will not be tolerated. The principal didn't fire you? No! The parents felt so bad that their kids didn't want to attend my class anymore that they want to give me the Courageous Teacher Award this Friday at the Museum of Tolerance! Oh, dear wow. Christ. I mean, I stuck a gerbil up your ass and they want to give me a goddamn medal! What you need to do is let the parents see what kind of demented fat you are. The award ceremony! <laughs> well, we'll put on a show they'll never forget! Oh, Jesus Christ.
Come on, Mr. Lemmy Winks. A distance far and fast to find his way out of a gay man's ass. A push onward, Lemmy Winks, with all of your might. Where do they come up with this stuff? And how do they come up with these songs? It's like great music set to the strangest of circumstances. I am the Sparrow Prince. Long has my spirit been trapped within this place. Before you lies the maze of the small animals. intestine. One path leads to the stomach, the other to certain doom. Take with you this helmet and torch. Let them be your guide. <laughs> Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win. Finger paint! Finger paint! You will not make any distinction between people of different color, people with different sexual preferences. What are you finger painting? Uh, a bear? I bear? Oh, bear has nothing to do with accepting people of different races. I, I didn't know what else to paint. Start over. You will finger paint what we tell you. Go. Faster. Faster. <laughs> oh, goodness. Faster. Are you done? What is it? What have you done? People of all colors are green holding hands beneath a rainbow. Good. That wasn't so hard, <laughs> was it? <laughs> now do it again. Faster. Faster. <laughs> Wow. There. The perfect plan to get us fired. You finished your costume design yet? Almost. I just have to get through with the... Oh, Jesus Christ. What's the matter? Just a bit of an upset stomach, I guess. Well, here, take a Pepto pill. I can't have my teacher's ass under the weather. Pepto-Bismol. The one that copes is the only one you need. It's going to take more than Pepto-Bismol for that. Lemmy Rings came to the stomach dark Neath the depths of the lungs and heart If you answer this riddle, the esophagus will let you pass A touch of fish's riddle will soon be told Go! Oh, Kyle! Kyle, you have to keep making your macaroni pictures! Can't... glue... any... more... The guards are coming, Kyle! Glue! Glue, damn you! Take this one away, he is done for! Butters? Butters. Urchin <laughs> Jesus, we have to get out of here. Please don't tell them that we're hiding here. We can't work anymore. We'll die. Oh, please. Get out. Uh, uh, nothing. I was just getting back to work. What is in there? Nothing. Get back to work. Yes, sir. Phew. He didn't write him out. <laughs> 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 Hey, I was just kidding. There's actually two girls hiding down there. Hey! <laughs> oh, I need to tell what I'm after! Jerk! It is my honor to present the Courageous Teacher Award to Herbert Garrison. Down, they're 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 down. Get along, little slave. Oh my god. That's what our boys were talking about? Ding, 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 ding. He is so courageous. If you had watched this episode when it came out, you might have thought, ha, 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 funny joke. But is it that far-fetched right now? Say, Mr. Slave. Yes, Mr. Garrison? I had a dream last night that you were a real dick. Really? Why would you dream that I was being an asshole? No, no. I was the <laughs> asshole. Oh, that is so courageous. What an amazing human and being. Uh... I, I'm very happy to get this award, but you know what makes me even happier? Sucking balls. Hmm. <laughs> it isn't working. Sing your song, Mr. Slave. I've got a little... Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. What's happening in there? You solved the Katata Fish's riddle. Now your trials are nearly through. I should have never shoved all those poor animals up my ass. <laughs> and then they keep clapping. Courageous. So courageous. God damn it, don't you people get it? I'm trying to get fired here! Oh, that's courageous. Look, this kind of behavior should not be acceptable from a teacher! Yeah, Jesus Christ. But mm. the museum tells us to be tolerant. I am Akuta. I am the leader of the feeders of all. Tolerant, but not stupid. Look, just because you have to tolerate something doesn't mean you have to approve of it. If you had to like it, it'd be called the Museum of Acceptance. It can still piss you off, Jesus, tap dancing Christ! He's right. Our boys didn't hate homosexuals, they just hated the way this asshole was acting. We've got to get our boys back! 
We're sorry, boys. Why didn't you tell us your teachers were acting so over the top? Yes, you boys don't know how much we've suffered. Look at him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. But this is insane. I'm sorry, Mr. Garrison, but it's obvious you aren't tolerant of your own behavior. Next week will be nothing but pain and suffering. Ooh, this could be kind of fun. <coughs> Lemmy Winks has made it out. The tale is nearly through. Thanks to you, we are all free. You are no ordinary gerbil, Lemmy Winks. You are the gerbil king. Okay. Now that you're the gerbil king, there's more ventures to go on. Fly away to faraway lands and to the setting sun. But Lemmy Winks, the gerbil king, to be told another night. Lemmy, Lemmy, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy, Lemmy Winks. Yes, South Park is a comedy, but it is also ahead of its time social commentary. It's almost like you can look at the jokes in South Park to see what's about to happen. At least in America, anyway. I just wonder if it's ever going to get to like those South Park levels of chaos. What's happening? I hope not, but we'll see. Thank you so much for another great recommendation. If you enjoyed this reaction, please hit the like button, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Good.